Tiffany, what does a gentleman wear when he's going to a fancy restaurant? Good question. I always think it's always better to be overdressed than underdressed, so wear a suit. Ryan, let's start with this suit that I've picked out for you. It's a neutral shade. It'll always look good. When you buy the suit, you're going to have the pants, you're going to have the jacket, everything's going to be ready to go, pressed, dry cleaned in your closet, so when you do have a fancy dinner to go to, you're out the door. A nice dress shirt like this, again, cleaned and pressed in your closet is always a nice option. This one's got hints of color like blue. So Ryan, make sure you do up your buttons and you tuck in your shirt. I think we should go completely for it and wear a tie and a belt. Ties, gents, if you don't know how to tie a tie, ask the person inside the store to do it for you and you can leave it in your closet hung on a hanger. And also you can buy those super fancy belts that when you click them, you can choose a brown or black side, which will go with the, sh the shoes that you choose or whatever color footwear that you would go with your outfit. So today we're gonna go with brown. Ryan, this is for you, looking fabulous. Thank you. So put together, so chic, so coif. And we're gonna pop this tie around your neck like this. Ho! Okay, love it. And then, I'm gonna don't want to strangle you, but we're going to do this nice and tight. How does it feel? It feels very comfortable. Do you like wearing suits, Ryan? It makes me feel uh, very successful. It makes me feel like a gentleman. So, when you pick up your lady at the door and you're wearing a suit, she's going to be super wowed and she's going to be impressed by your combinations. I always think about ties as sort of an accent piece. So you're going to want to try to pick up the colors that you're using in your suit and your shirt as what the tie colors are going to be. Try not to be too, too flashy with your tie because it has a tendency of looking a little tacky. Ryan, your jacket. So last but not least, when you're buying your jacket, make sure the sleeves go to at least your wrist and give it a couple good puffs, puffs. There you go. How do you feel? Feel great. You look absolutely awesome. Let's put some shoes on and then he's ready to go on his date. These ones are brown, they're gonna match the belt and they're gonna set off the outfit perfectly. So put these on. And then Ryan, you're ready to go. I hope you're gonna have some delicious food. I know I'll look good. Yeah, you will. Okay guys, all this making is done for you. Now go get dressed. I'm Funk Roberts. In order to carry your girl around, you're gonna need a strong back and the one-arm kettlebell row is the exercise for you. Let me show you how it's done. What you want to do is stand in a staggered stance with your knees slightly bent. Bend over and grab your kettlebell and pull it up to your body. So what we're going to do is row it up to the body and once we do that, you want to squeeze at the top. So watch me do it again. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. So you want to be rowing as fast as you can, but make sure you squeeze the top, keeping your elbow close to the body. Make sure you use your gym boss. Instead of that 45 seconds, you do the right arm and then you do the left arm. Now it's your turn. Hi, I'm Ryan Shanahan, presenting basic rules for a gentleman. Number one, a gentleman knows please and thank you are still magic words. Number two, a gentleman always holds the door open for males and females. Number three, a gentleman always keeps his fingernails clean. Number four, a gentleman never drinks a cocktail to a straw. And remember, a gentleman always wins.